And now, let's continue. Let's continue the... The destruction. <laughs> let's continue the destruction of the board. Mother, father. What? Mother, <laughs> board. <laughs> now, we're going to screw some... Screw, screw you. you. <laughs> Okay, welcome to our YouTube channel, Wewe and Ana. So this is Rafael, my 17-year-old son, and he's going to help me with assembling our power PC. Hello. Okay, Rafi, so isa-isay natin yung mga components natin na ikakabit. Okay, first off, uh, pakita natin yung pinaka-importanting component ng PC natin. This is the Ryzen 9 5950X. It is a 16-core, 32-thread powerhouse of a CPU. This will decimate all workloads in Premiere Pro. Wow! Very English yung anak ko. Okay, so what's next in our list? Graphics card. Graphics card. Okay. Yan. Isa pa sa pinaka importante. Yan. Okay, Rafi. This is the Asus ROG Strix 3070. These are one of the more harder to find graphics cards because of the, the shortage. Scalpers, man. Gotta hate them. <laughs> and next, yung pinaka hard ng PC natin. This is our X570 motherboard na compatible para sa ating Ryzen 9. If you have a very powerful processor, you need a large power supply, no? Capable of producing large amounts of power. Yes, and also for um, future upgrades. In case na ibili ako ni Rafi ng 3090. This is it. What? <laughs> or baka 1000. Uh, baka palitan namin 1000. So what's next? So obviously our system wouldn't start without a boot drive. So Samsung 970 Evo Plus. 1TB drive so you can fit several programs. And this will allow our system to run. Yeah. And additional hard drive for the large files. For heavy-duty tasks like video editing, we need large amounts of memory. That's why we went with this kit of 32GB DDR4 RAM with RGB for added aesthetic. Since this, we're using a Ryzen 9 in this build, we're gonna need some extra cooling because one, this doesn't come with its own fan and it's a, it's a Ryzen 9. It's gonna need a lot of cooling power. Which is why we went with this big boy Noctua NHD15. Oh, wow. In Chromax Black. Very nice execution. <laughs> We're gonna be upgrading from laptops to a desktop. So we have the peripherals such as mouse and headset, except for the keyboard. Which is why we went with this Logitech G512 carbon mechanical keyboard. Goodbye membrane. So these components, they're not obviously the cheapest choices, which is why we're gonna need a case that can keep them safe. And so we bought this Cooler Master TD500 Mesh in black. Unlike laptops, if you're using a desktop and there's a brownout, you're basically screwed. That's why we bought a UPS. For the casing, we bought some additional fans for maximum cooling power. And better airflow. Yeah. And for the finale, hindi mo makikita yung ginagawa mo pag walang monitor. This is the Tough Gaming VGA1A series. This is 170Hz, 1440p display. Nice! <laughs> okay, nothing left to do but assemble. Okay, all tools ready? Okay, let's unbox first the motherboard. 
excited si Pan. Mother, father. Ano yun yan? Mother, father, boy. So that's uh, Mimi. That's Anna. Okay, let's open up the motherboard. What do we have there? Wow. It smells like power. Nice. It's a bit of a bit of a bit of We got cable ties for, for cable management. Yes. We got our standoffs for our SSD. Nice. Some other connectors. And the door stop so my mom doesn't interrupt. <laughs> Stage mother. <laughs> Mommy, look, I in a step. Oh. So that the therapy won't be interrupted. What can you say? <laughs> we got our SATA connectors. Yeah, connectors, no? connectors. More connectors. Yeah. Too much connectors. Not that in our Acer days. So, We have a CD that we won't use. <laughs> oh, it comes with stickers. I'm gonna stick this on my phone. This is hella clean. Yeah. 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 First AMD build. Yeah. Oh my! Wow! Ano ba? Ako na lang <laughs> Agui, agui. Perfect. Nakalapat na siya. Nakakatakot i-install. So, lock na natin. Fifty-nine, fifty x Ano yung kamay pasmado na si Pen? Kinakabahan na. <laughs> okay! Installation time 1. Yun ang dim. So A1 tsaka B1. Dim installation 2.7. Ito. Ito. <laughs> Sige na huwag kumaya. Yun. Yun. Rock na. Okay na. Next na gagawin natin SSD, so we need to remove the screws. Dalawang SSD yan. Ito isang SSD, ito yung pangalawa. isang SSD ito yung chipset na fan and then ito pa yung sa isang SSD screw the SSD Happy, 
way better than that. Tarong nagana-gana mag-type din. Papagawa na kita ng paragraph niya. <laughs> Sarap yan. Remove the cover from the thermal element. Huge. I think it's longer than the motherboard. Ang haba. Ang laki pala nito. Ami, ayun yung video card nita yun. Ano po? Graphics card. Yung graphics card dati ganun na kalaki. Bakit laki? Hindi mo yung cash siya. Sa case. May RGB lang siya. May ilaw yan. May RGB lang siya. So, ang mangyayari dyan, pag hindi nag-cash siya, nasa labas na lang lahat. Hello, hi! Hi! Excited ang baby namin. Excited. Hindi na mag-e-enroll pa, Mar. Hindi na mag-e-enroll. Stream na lang ako. Wala na pang enroll. Napunta lahat sa ano. Pag sa stream na lang ako. Sabi ko sa'yo, mag-YouTube ka na eh. Ito oh! Gawa ka ng channel mo. Ang dami pang maging subscriber po. This is the card. So huge. Ngayon na kami nakakita ang ganyan kalaki. Ngayon na kami gagamit niyan. Ginagawa mo! Nakrapi sa bangong keypad. The distraction. Let's continue the distraction of the board. Mother, father. What? Mother, father, board. Now we're going to screw some. Screw you. Maganda mami. Mas maganda yung pagmander mama yah. Gusto ko makita to umi ilaw. Di mo yun sa sofa. Hindi abot. Yung na itatype. Yun. Yung next. Hindi mo type mo yung amin. Hindi mo type po. Eh bakit na mula? Mali. Mali. Magiging ka dyan mami. Candy Crush. Magtatype. Okay. Gondoa! Magnetic filter. So, nabuksan na ba? Yes, let's open it. Ang tatas mo. Here's the tempered glass. 
Ay, alam ko na nalagay ko dyan. Hmm. Sa loob. Intermission. Lagay mo yung ano. Magbibenta niya sa... Lagay mo yung cover. The new soap. 8 in 1. Lagay mo yung cover. Ang oh, magandang. <laughs> Hindi maganda. Mas okay yung kanina nakabukas. Uh -huh. Nakapos to. Napicturean na, na ko na. Daming cable. Daming cable management. Dito ako nila na yun. Si Daming cable. Bukas na malatak. Mamodular cable kasi yan. Yung maganda sa Polar Master. Sasaksak mo lang yung kailangan mo. <laughs> Time for cable management. Adios. 850 watt PSU. Grabe pahirap to. Ang daming cable. Paano gagawin ito? <laughs> Hard for me to say Jealous of the way Let's put the motherboard We align Ito na center screw There you go. Yeah. Yun. It locks in place. Very nice. Ito kailangan ko. Tanggalin natin ito. Kasi nandito isang mounting. <laughs> Testing mo. <laughs> sana, sana hindi sumaya dito. Matigas naman pala siya. Okay, sakto. Yung fan ang hindi sakto, baka sumayad nga. Yung fan. Kailangan siguro mas mataas ng konti. Pero, sakto siya sa ano? Sa board. <laughs> hindi siya sasangga. All set for the motherboard. Lagay na ba natin? Mahirapan kasi tayo maglagay ng cable eh. <laughs> cable muna. Cable muna. Hindi na namin papakita yung cable management ha. Ang hirap nito. No? Tatagal siguro mga ilang oras. Pinapag-aralan na ni Rafi kung paano gawin yung sa CPU cooler natin. Yung sa Noctua. Here's our big boy CPU cooler. Noctua NHT15. One eternity later. Ayan na. Ang cable natin. Uh, ilang oras na kami dito. Naikabit na namin sa kabila yung mga cables. Yung sa motherboard. Pero, magka-cable management pa. Sa likod. And then, on this side, ayan na yung mga cable natin. Ano sa power. Ayan. Nakakonekta. Sa fan. Yung main power motherboard yung mga front panel cables USB and sound and then pinalitan na namin yung mounting ng CPU yung CPU fan i-mount na namin yung Noctua pero lalagyan muna namin ng paste thermal paste dun sa Ryzen dun sa, ano, sa processor let's do this ayun na yung paste, lumabas na lagyan natin dito Oh no! Yeah, pwede na yan. Lagyan natin konting-konting-konting. Yan, okay na yan. Didikit na natin si Noctua. Noctua. Okay. By screwing it into the mount. Everything clean. Okay. makita ako nakalikit. Masok siya. And then sa other side. Okay. Ipitan na natin. Yan. Ipitan ko na. Ang 
balik tayo. Hindi na, no? mataas masyado. Hmm. Yes! Ang laking CPU cooler nitong Noctua. Actually, dalawa yung ano niya. Dalawa yung fan niya. Kaya lang, hindi na namin kinabit yung isa since sasabit siya dun sa ano, sa RAM. Okay, ready na tayo. Kabit na natin ito. <laughs> ano pa ba? Yun na ba? Yun. Nag-lock. <laughs> Very nice. All we need is screw it. Okay, tapos na yung assembly ng parts natin. So what we need to do is connect the peripherals and power on. Cable management. Yeah. Ganda ng presentation. Check natin FPS mo maya. Yeah. And this will be our final setup. Of course, with the glass panel facing towards us, para naka display yung RGB. For our ASUS Aura RGB setup, sinetap namin yung fan RGB according to the CPU temp. Cold is blue, mid temp is green. And if it's hot, it will turn red. We even configured the RAM in the GPU RGB according to sound volume level. How cool is that?
pinapukasan ito ang ginagawa ng peng ang bilis ah mabagal sa laptop mo yung peng <laughs>